Hey guys, it's me Amanda and today I am going to teach you guys how I make my chocolate chip cookies. Yes, yes, yes. This is obviously for you guys, like I'm not making this for me. Honestly, <laughs> this video has been super super requested since I mentioned it in my last video This recipe makes 24 cookies and they are not healthy So if you think this is a healthy vegan chocolate chip cookie recipe, you're wrong <laughs> Yeah, these um, use vegan butter and they use um, sugar and you know basically things that you would use in a regular cookie Except instead of egg we use the liquid of garbanzo beans, which is called aquafaba, which sounds really cool so yeah. If anyone ever asks, oh my god, what makes these cookies vegan? Oh, you know, vegan butter, aquafaba. That's pretty much it. I don't want to do a super long intro. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go down below and click that subscribe. Click down below on that subscribe button so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so for this recipe, we're going to need some butter, chocolate chips, baking soda, and baking powder, brown sugar, pure cane sugar, all-purpose flour, and the star of the show, garbanzo juice. So add a cup of butter to your machine, add a little bit less than a cup because it's too greasy. And then I add a cup of sugar, and then a cup of brown sugar, and then mix. And you want to mix this really, really well, like really, really well until it becomes a buttery whipped cream, kind of. Now time for aquafaba. Now you want to add one third cup of this, and you could strain the beans and then add the juice, but apparently I wanted to waste my time. Now add it to your butter whipped cream, and then add some vanilla. I like two teaspoons. And then mix it mix mix. It'll low key look like cottage cheese, but don't worry, give it time and bam, it's sexy once more. Now for dry ingredients. I want to start off with a cup, and then I'm going to mix it just a tad bit. And then I'm going to add another cup, and bam, repeat the process. Process. And then I'm gonna add one fourth cup because why not? And then also add your baking powder and baking soda. Now give that good, good mix. Oh yeah. Sometimes I put it on high because I wanna do a really good job. Now add your chocolate. I like to add a cup because I like it chocolatey, you know? And then mix that together. You know the drill. And then we are done. So this is basically the most annoying part of the recipe. You're gonna roll the balls individually and put them on a tray. Yeah, just add and then make them as big as you want. I like them individually sized because you know it's a cookie. And then you're gonna cook that in the oven for like 6 to 15 minutes. Honestly, it depends on your oven and your altitude and scientific stuff. But yeah, you have cookies. Great. So just let them rest like little babies that have just been born on the tray for like 5 minutes and then you're gonna transfer them to cool down on this cooling tray and then bam, our our cookies are ready to be consumed and eaten and loved and just enjoyed. All right, you guys, and that was the cookie recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are seriously my favorite cookies ever, so I really hope you guys try it out. And if you do, at your girl on Twitter or on Instagram, and I will for sure give that like a tweet back or I will like it and comment on it. I will definitely see it if you tag me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you a ton and I will see you in my next video. Bye!